Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. Here we cover basically all of the problems you might ever have with your iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, all the tech that you use. This time we talk about a private browsing on a Safari and how do you actually get there? How do you browse privately? Well, there is a simple way to show it, but there may also be some potential hiccups and problems along the way. So I'm going to show you what to do in case you cannot find it. To begin, if you just quickly want to just check it out, if you have the feature to begin with, and you should, you would just open up Safari and here you can see the basic user interface, all the stuff like you can type in the URL. But if you want to switch to a private page, just click on the multiple uh, tabs of view. So it's going to show you this panel right here. You can start a new page, whichever you want. But so you have like two tabs open. But if you click on the two tabs, you get to this section. So you have tab groups. You have the option to customize it and create some of your own tab groups. You can group tabs together, but the private option is here as well. So you can just tap on it. And now private browsing mode has been enabled. So Safari will not remember the pages you visit and also autofill is not going to work. So just click on the plus icon. You can see that we have the private browsing there. We also have the dark background behind the URL text field. So this is something that works here as well. Of course, Google or any other website doesn't remember, doesn't store cookies. So you have to like accept them once again. And basically every time you visit, visit the new website. So you should keep that in mind. But that's just the nature of browsing privately using any web browser. But the thing I wanted to touch on is there are some scenarios where even if you go to this page and click here, you're not going to be able to find the private section. It's just not going to appear here. And the problem could be the settings inside of your iPhone and the screen time. So screen time is a feature you can enable and you can just turn it on like this and you can keep on going to like track your time. But once it shows up, you can see that there are content and privacy restrictions. You can enable it if you want, but this applies to apps, content, whatever it is. And here inside of this section, you may have disabled private browsing. Now, there are many ways how you can block content and restrict it to make sure that the private version of Safari disappears. You may, for example, just block some inappropriate content. Let's say it's for children or for anyone else. So there are a bunch of different things. But if you want to make sure that the privacy works, the private mode in Safari does indeed work. You want to make sure that the content and privacy restrictions are turned on altogether. You don't want to have that enabled or disabled. You don't want to mess with that. So you just keep it as it is or just turn off screen time altogether. And then you should have access to the private browsing normally. So that's what I wanted to explain in this video. If you found it useful and valuable, what I would expect is if you hit the thumbs up and it does help the channel, it makes my day. It's a good way to to just do stuff. And yeah, for more videos like this, this one, make sure to subscribe to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching and I will catch you in the future. Peace out, guys. <laughs>